Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 Beta 9. Oh my god, first of all, Beta 9 is here. That was not expected, first of all. Because if history is an indication, we did not expect it, the Beta 9 right now. Like, Max to Max Beta 8 was the last one, and today we should have gotten the RC. Or well, even not the RC, we would have not got any update today. And then we would have gotten the RC next Tuesday. Apple event is taking place on 12th of September in case you guys are living under a rock. So 12th of September is Apple event Wonderlust. I am so excited and I know you guys are excited as well. Let me know down in comments below what are you most excited about. I am personally not that much excited about the iPhones. But I'm more excited about the Apple Watch because that is something which is going to get a lot of attention for me as I'm thinking about upgrading my Apple Watch. Let me know down in comments below that uh, what are you most excited about? Getting back to the topic, what is new on the iOS 17 Beta 9? Apple has released all updates. TVOS Beta 9, then there is WatchOS 10 Beta 9, then there is iPadOS, iOS, every update is here today it is an apple update day and as expected we don't have any big changes on the beta 9 beforehand i'm telling you guys so that in case you came here wondering that there are new features or big changes there aren't any big changes on this update but it is more focused on the refinement side of things and just making sure that it gets perfect before the release as next week on tuesday alongside iphones apple watch and all those cool products we will also have the public release of what was 10 mac os tv os ipad os and ios 17 i will be covering up a lot of devices on the ios 17 watch os and mac os so in case you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button okay so the update came at a big size on my device the reason was because i was coming from the ios 16 i was not running ios 17 on my device but it is probably around 500 to 600 mbs if you are coming from the beta 8 the number one bug that is fixed here is the wallpaper bug the wallpaper bug was a bug which was present on the beta 8 as well and it is finally fixed on the beta 9 then the next thing is the performance the performance seems to be really good here i have used my device for a really short amount of time but by now i have enough of experience to say that the performance seems noticeably more smoother and uh, the animations feel a little bit more faster like that is a very small change but yeah the animations do feel a little bit more slicker then talking about the battery life the battery life is something which is a bit too early for me right now to judge and tell you guys i will let you guys know in the very next episode so make sure to look up for that i will be coming up with that in two to three days or if you really want to know you can comment down below i'll tell you how has been my experience by the time you are commenting down below or best you can just dm me on my twitter i am really active on my twitter at the rate tech hyped yes i do call it twitter to this day because i don't like the name x come on no one likes x Anyways, jokes aside, talking about next thing which is new here is the standby mode. In the standby mode, the fonts of the clock is a little bit different. If you compare both side by side, the clock on the standby on the second theme is a bit more bolder. But in general, I haven't really found anything major new here, which is worth noting. Only things new here is refinement, performance is a bit better, battery life, I hope so that it is better compared to the beta 8. But to be honest, right now, since the beta 7, iOS 17 has been really good in terms of battery life. I don't actually have a lot of complaints in terms of battery life on iOS 17 now. But obviously, we really Really want good battery life so i won't mind having good battery life on the beta 9 the standby has some very minor changes which i talked about in this video and other than that the bug of keyboard the keyboard bug the smart prediction bug that was on the ios 17 beta 8 where the smart prediction was not working properly or you have to just turn it off and turn it back again on or restart your device the keyboard bugs are finally resolved on this update as well 
I got around 200 MBs back after installing this update, which is not a lot considering I have a 256 GB device and it will vary from device to device. If you have a 64 gigabyte device, I don't really think so that it will matter a lot on that device as well. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off.